Hello everyone, this is Samara. Welcome back to Samara Perhaps. What I'll be talking about today is sort of a change in my diet. I want to say real quickly, I know I was saying that this was going to be the next video in the whole um, book suggestions thing. This really is more at the forefront of my mind, so I'll do the next book recommendations um, on Tuesday. But uh, yeah, talking about like a diet that I'm sort of taking on, why I'm doing it, and what I'm hoping to get out of it, which is basically a weight gain diet, and yeah, just talking about that a little bit. So what's bringing this up is that I've, it's interesting being on a diet when I guess I'm kind of like a thin person because I've actually gotten a lot of compliments from friends and so on about how, you know, it's like, oh, my physique is really good, <clears throat> which is like, that's great. I, I mean, it, it is nice. I, I do like it. However, I've noticed as someone who is going through a, a transition, because I'm a little bit of a thinner person, there's less, I guess, body weight, less, less, less to work with for the hormone replacement therapy to really feminize my body. Which I think it depends on the person. Some people might think that's great. Some people might just be like, who, who cares? I really do want to feminize myself as much as possible and it turns out just as someone who is as thin as I am, I'm not necessarily going to get the results as much that I'm personally looking for unless I add a little bit more fat to what's going on here, fat or weight or muscle, whatever you want to call it. Uh, I did a little bit of research first just to see what to expect and when it comes to a weight gain diet, just like weight loss. It really is just about calories coming in and being burned out, more or less. So one thing I realized recently is that I actually thought I was eating a lot more than I thought, I guess. And eventually I used a calorie tracker and I saw that I was eating way, way less than I thought. Because I, I, I'm one of those people who I have like a big meal like for lunch or something or for dinner. And I'll think, oh, I, I ate so much today. But then the rest of the day, I'm barely eating. And I think that's what's causing me to be so thin, is that I really am not eating as much as I personally would like for my own goals, my own weight goals. So the easiest thing is to add more calories to that. I want to do that very carefully because I don't necessarily want to um, just like, you know, eat junk food. That's not what I want. And I'm just kind of slowly building up my calories. At this point, I am eating as much as I would like. Like, and I, I'm able to measure that, which I was not doing before. That's why I was under the impression that I was eating so much when I wasn't. And it is a lot more food, I will say that. But for the past few days, I have actually been at my dietary goals for each day. So I'm just gonna keep this up for who knows how long, a few weeks, months. And my main goal is to put on maybe 10 pounds, which I think for some people that's nothing. But again, it's like, I feel like for me, that's enough to, as the research I did based on the weight I am now, just get a little bit more of the form I am looking for. And I'll also add, just to put this out there, I will acknowledge that I am very happy with how I look. But I think, well, if I feel like I could be even happier, why would I just stop now? Like, why would I say, oh, this is good enough? I, I really do like to push myself and to see you know, how amazing things can actually get instead of just thinking, well, I wonder what it would be like if I push myself a little bit more and try to actually have the physique that I wanted. So uh, I decided I'm going to do that instead of just, even though me being happy and comfortable is, is nice, it's like, let me be happier and more fulfilled by putting on this weight. And I'll definitely say when it comes to any kind of weight change diet, the challenging thing without question is staying committed. I think that it's, it's very easy. I see a lot of people who are trying to lose weight and they might try for a little bit and then have a day where, oh, they, I think it's called a cheat day where they just happen to really pig out and then they think, oh, my diet's over, like it, I, I give up, it's not gonna work. And I'm gonna have the opposite, which is that I'm gonna have days when it's just like, I just don't feel like eating today. I, I'm, I'm sure of that. 
and I just need to remind myself it's one day and again if anyone is on the opposite end of that spectrum where they do have that day where they just pig out whatever it is most importantly do not beat yourself up it happens again it's one day just it's more reason the next day to hop right back on the diet and keep yourself going and that's what I'm going to remind myself as I try to gain weight is that I'm probably gonna have those days when it's just like I just don't feel like like eating right now and I'm gonna try to push myself through that not, not like force feeding myself per se but push through that and if I absolutely at the end of the day didn't get to my daily goals of calories then it's like I've got tomorrow I've got the next day and I can get myself right back on that but again it's a commitment it's something that I think anybody can say that they can try a new diet but I don't just want to try it I want to to commit to changing my weight and that's challenging not everyone can just do that at least not without the right kind of motivation and support and I mean luckily I do have that motivation so I, I'm very fortunate ultimately it's I think the best way to stay committed from what I've heard from friends about anything weight change um, dietary changes or new hobbies whatever it is is to just tell yourself for sure maybe wake up and like today I'm going to do a B and Z I think for me it would be like today I'm going to make sure I have like three full meals and if need be some snacks in between and basically if I feel hungry I will eat I'm not going to just put it off and I will also make sure I'm not eating just crap I'll make sure I'm eating something that's at least somewhat uh, good for me and the commitment is doing that every single day like telling yourself in the morning this is what's going to happen and sticking with it honestly if you can do it for one day you can do it for a hundred days even the more you do it eventually it becomes just habit and it gets easier and easier the challenging thing with starting anything new is getting over that initial resistance because it is change and even though it's change that ultimately for the end result we really want that um, to start on that journey is it's hard and it's for the first couple of days that I've started on my weight loss not weight, if I lost any more weight I'll die <laughs> my weight gain uh, journey it's been okay so far it has been something that even now I'm thinking like I probably got to plan the next thing I'm gonna eat for lunch for example but it's something that I feel like no nah, I, I can do it it's you know my commitment is to have these three full meals and just to eat to reach my calorie goals and I feel like I can do this which also is another huge huge thing is just to tell yourself you can do it because you can if you can do it for one day again you've basically got this already it's just a matter of pushing through that initial resistance and making this new diet or the new hobby whatever it is or new lifestyle I'll say that your new lifestyle um part of who you are and once it is it just is and it, at a certain point it really is just about maintenance and keeping that going just putting that out there that I am going on this weight gain journey and so if you see me like starting to bulk up a little bit in my videos but a, a little bit I'm, I'm not trying to do too much here but a little bit it's like eh, that's that's what's going on and um, I'll probably make an update video when I do get to the weight I'm trying to get to again I'm looking at maybe 10 pounds potentially 15 I would actually be able to put on 15 pounds and still be considered a healthy weight for my height so I've got options anyway if that sounds good to you and if you liked if you got something out of this video you can let me know by liking commenting and subscribing and also uh, if, if you have any tips for your own weight um, uh, change plans lifestyle changes uh, please leave it in the comments below so all of us can see it so I can see it and we can all benefit and lastly please remember that you are valid beautiful and amazing and have a wonderful day